Welcome back to Don's Life, welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining today, like the thumbnail says. We're gonna get crazy and make some changes to the multi-pro tailgate with the vinyl wrap on the AT4. Let's go. You can hear the heater in there, but that means it's too cold to do this outside. We're gonna have to turn this beast around so we can work on it in the garage. So there's at least one way you can tell that I've been cooped up all winter doing projects in the garage, getting really good at parking the truck in here for the maximum space possible. Come check this out. Would you look how close I am to the door? Like half an inch. There's half an inch there. That's all that matters. So before we get started, there was a video I made a little while ago talking about changing the theme of the multi-pro tailgate here. Now, if you remember in that video, I talked about taking this all off and just wrapping the inner tailgate, like the AEV edition AT4X, but that would mean I'd have to take off these letters, redo all of this, and then surround the handle, go all the way up to the cap, that type of thing. I think to start with, we're gonna take off this piece here, and then we'll see what this looks like, and we'll go from there. And remember, this is just vinyl. I could hate it and wanna go back to how it looks now, and it'd only take me a couple hours. Ooh, just enough room. First, we just gotta peel the film off the back here, and then heat it up and rip it all off. Look at that nice bed lighting. I'll link that video up here. Go check it out. That is PPF from the dealership. Not even laid down all the way. We're just gonna carefully get our vinyl peeled off. Now this is probably enough to get it started. You can see I had a little bit of this peeling back there. See how it's dirty in there? So it must have shrunk over time and let some dirt in, but you couldn't even tell. partway there we got some of the vinyl taken off it looks weird I don't know I kind of want to leave it like this for a little while since vinyl is easy to reapply I can always redo this so I think we got to keep going and take the rest off plus remember these are black underneath so I'm not sure what the end result is gonna be but I'll take it all off we can put the black letters back on we could wrap all of this piece I don't know let's just keep going before we go too far though, we're gonna make a template so we can remember where these letters go when we put them back on. Now there is some PPF that was cut out for the letters originally, but it's not perfectly aligned. So we're just gonna use some masking tape, make a little template so we know exactly where these go when we go to put them back on, if we do. All right, now we get to unwrap this piece. I'm hoping that I can take the vinyl off with the letters intact over top of the vinyl. And then if we can heat them up enough, maybe relax the adhesive, get the vinyl off the back, and then not have to put brand new adhesive on the back of these letters because that can be a bit of a pain. Mm -hmm. 
See, it's not so hard. Okay, it's coming along. Gee whiz, we're getting good at this. Well, not so much luck with saving the original adhesive. We're just gonna have to replace it. But at least they're big letters, so it's not that hard. Well, now I gotta clean this all up. We have some glue residue here. That won't be too hard. Get that off, and then there's a little bit of glue there. And then I think we'll just put the letters back in place, all blacked out, leave it like that for a while. But let's get this cleaned up first, then we'll decide. Now, if you ever have to take off a badge or an emblem and you have some adhesive left behind, get yourself one of these, hook it up to your drill. They will rip up all of that adhesive without scratching your clear coat. Good investment. Now, because this has PPF on here, I gotta be careful, watch which direction this turns so I'm not accidentally lifting up the film. So I don't wanna hit that edge like that. So up here, I'll go downward. Here, I'll probably have to flip it over, but I just wanna be careful so I don't catch any of these edges and damage the PPF. Let's go. Okay, we used a little bit of Goo Gone and some isopropyl alcohol to take us the rest of the way and get it nice and clean. Now we just have to put some adhesive on the back of those letters and then we'll put our template back up, put the letters on, pull it outside and take a closer look. Let's do the rest of it outside. You didn't think we were done, did you? Gotta definitely peel this off. I don't think it looks too bad. I'm gonna leave it like this for a while. You know, now that we have all of that unwrapped, I can probably do a full color change on the truck. I might not get that crazy. But anyway, we're gonna leave it like this for a little while so we can do what we always do on this channel, see what we like, see what we don't like. But if you like today's video, hit that like button. Please consider subscribing. We'll talk to you next time.